Hey, I do remember being in high school and holding hands and being terrified of holding hands. And I, I remember in third grade, I dated Hope Golden for a week. <laughs> dated. Well, we held hands one time and we walked back from uh, school towards our houses and we were holding hands and it was, I was just looking away, away. <laughs> away I was so nervous and then she ran off towards her sister when we got up to Bullock up to the middle school it was in third grade man we held hands uh I don't know your name I'm Ian though but thank you for the video it was it was good to hear what you think I think that guys are we live in kind of a warrior I don't know. I don't. I don't think that sexuality is different between men and women necessarily. Like I see both perspectives. I see like how we are all the same in that way, but that in another way, like guys have testosterone, so they're more aggressive. So we we don't want that to get sexual, maybe. So we choose violence over sexuality as a as an outlet. But I, I don't think it has to be either. Like, you can talk about it and let steam out that way or, like, make your machine so it doesn't... I think that, like, having sex or violence or laughter or anger, all that stuff, like, indulgence of the physical reality is, like, letting off steam out of a machine that's producing all this steam and you let the, you let the steam out with, like, laughter, but... or having sex, but we can build our, our machines, our bodies, to not produce much steam at all, if any, enough so that we don't have to release it. And it's one. It's another way to live. I think it's it's worth trying and understanding. Like being so balanced that you don't laugh. You know, when you're enlightened, nothing's funny because you understand everything. I was at this party earlier, and there was this girl there, and uh, she walked by and wanted to smoke some weed so she smoked weed with us and then this guy actually was like hey she wants to smoke weed it was very strange but then we connected and made eye contact really intense eye contact and I didn't look away and she didn't look away and then she looked away and walked over and then she came back and we looked at each other again for a while and then I looked down and later on in the night I was walking by her and I heard her say some guy that she was talking to said to her I, I was just because I'm afraid and I walked by and I thought that's interesting because she manifested that, that other person to tell her that they were afraid like she she made them comfortable enough to say that that's powerful and so I went back and got some at one point in the night I went to the bathroom I was coming back out and I saw her and I told her that, that I, that I heard her do that and that it was powerful. And we started talking and she, like about like spiritual, about like understanding spirituality, about understanding people. And she said, do you have the key? And I, I thought, I, I, I mean, how, how you can't, as soon as you, if you say you have a key, you have nothing. You, you like the, the key is to know that you have no key. that you have nothing, you never really have, um, and I said that, and we were just like, it was so intense, we were talking more, and I was telling her about, like, how I put videos on YouTube, and how, like, it's, it's, like, more people are communicating in a, in a more enlightened way with that, without getting angry at each other, and then she said, we talked for a little bit longer, she said, would you excuse me, I said, yeah. And she started to walk away, and she said, I, I think that you are so fucking hot, or something like that. So hot, so sexy, so incredibly sexy, something like that. And I thought, huh. And she walked away. And then I walked back up to my friends. I mean, everybody, they were all my friends. My, the other group that I was with, people that I work with, and uh, sat down on the ground 
It's just listening for a long time. This, the sexuality, you know, people. I was talking about like the fifth dimension and stuff, and like uh, it's different aspects of reality. How you can, there's like two perspectives. You see it from like the emotional perspective or the spiritual perspective, the, the physical, the third dimension or the fifth dimension. Different. I think it's the fifth dimension, enlightenment. Fifth dimension, all choice. Like I don't know. You just you have an awareness of things. And it, she got distracted, or I got distracted, but there was a distraction, and she said that she thought I was hot, and the sexuality became a distraction. And I tell you, in that moment, I want, I had the impulse, and I had two beers earlier. I know I say I don't, don't drink, but that's more, I say that for myself more so that I don't drink often. But like, I just say I don't drink. I'm not, I don't lie about it, like I do sometimes, but... Not often. Two beers, and like, there was a moment when she said, You're so hot. And I thought, I really, like, you know, thought, like, I could fuck this girl now. But that's, it's not, like, man, that, that way of life, you get so wrapped up in that way of life when you do that. So I'd rather just have a have a good, interesting conversation and then part ways and both be stronger because of it, more aware because of it. And not that I won't see her again and communicate again, but not to end it in a, a night of aggression. I'll see.